there was a uh, one night about two one or two weeks before we were to start training for 2017. By this time, I knew that I wasn't going to do track, and I just told Brianne at night, "Hey, I think I'm done." And she was like, "No way!" And part of the reason was because of the experience that she had that day. So that earlier that morning, I just went out for a run, not to think about what I wanted to do this year or anything, just to go out for a run. Um, but I had this like really overwhelmingly strong gut feeling while I was running that I don't want to do track anymore. Like I just I can't imagine going to practice. I would be miserable. I don't want to practice shot put or run intervals anymore. Like that just doesn't sound fun to me. And it, I'm not motivated to do it. I didn't say anything to Ashton when I got home because those are the first feelings that I had about it. And I wanted to sit with it for a couple of weeks before I said anything. So when he told me that later that night at dinner, I was shocked, not because he didn't want to do it. I kind of had a feeling that he probably didn't want to continue on for another year. But because it just like all happened in the same day. Is this the for real? You're done. No chance of coming back. Just kidding. <laughs> or is there a slight chance that we can see you guys back out there again? Uh, maybe this is the, this is what we should do. We should definitely keep it the way it is, but then come back and everybody's gonna be like, "What the hell? I thought you guys were." <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely done. Yeah, I think once we, um, you know, we've already started doing other things like. We, we've been hiking a lot. We've gotten into snowboarding and we're just having the best time, like doing other things and not being restricted with what we can and can't do. We can eat whatever we want. Uh, and it's been, it's been awesome. And I think more of that kind of stuff will just come as, you know, this retirement continues. And I think it would just make it harder and harder to go back to that other lifestyle we had. Do you think you're going to do some Olympic coverage or play-by-play -play announcing or anything like that in the future? I don't have any desire to do that. No, I, you know <laughs> what? I have to give the announcers and the, so much credit because, I mean, you've tried it. It's like, yeah. it's really hard and I don't, I don't think I'd be good at it. It's tougher than being on the track. Yeah. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here and check out more of our exclusive content right here.